like a man. I got a motherfucking gun for a hand. Put together by Dr. Wright or Light in your American. I eat all my mega brand. I live in 2D and it's my duty to destroy the master bots. Welcome back to Let's Play Artie Lightfoot. This is the start of scene 10, which is fairly easy compared to the previous stuff we've had to go through. Basically, it's kind of an island with traps, and some of the traps are actually pretty devious. Uh, a couple of spear traps like that. Ow. Okay, well, that's off to a good start. A couple of difficult jumps, a couple of enemies, not, nothing too, too bad, nothing we haven't seen before. Kind of the neat thing is that the background actually gets darker as time goes on, so eventually it'll actually be night, which is the next stage. Uh, so this is actually called the Island of Rune. Important thing to actually remember here is that you can actually ride the spears, which helps you get through a couple of trickier areas. Also, this is one of the few stages in the game where it's there's a few spots here where it's actually better to take a couple of strategic hits and then just skip the trap rather than try to deal with it. So down here is actually a good example of where it's a good idea to ride the spear. There's a series of tricky jumps and enemies here that you can just skip and just ride over the whole thing. Ow! But of course, timing them is a bitch because the spears move so fast. Now, there's actually a lot of power-ups in this... Ah, uh, fuck it. I'll just keep going. Actually, a lot of power-ups in this stage. Shit. A lot of one-ups in this stage because you're going to be needing them in the next couple. All in all, it's not a hard stage, though. I mean, there's no boss. See, just like that. Okay, that was my bad. So up here is actually a good example... Up here is actually a good example of where it's best to take a hit. See, we can just roll... There's actually balls that roll across. You're supposed to hop across them, but the jump is almost... The jump is so tricky to make that it's almost better just to take the hit. That is assuming you're, you haven't already lost your blue bastard like I did. Fuck. Well, at least this way I'll get my blue bastard back and that'll be that. Okay, so take two. Let's see if I can't just land on the spear this time. And no. Okay. So we'll keep going through here. You can't actually hit those guys, unfortunately. So I'll have to see if I can't just... Fuck. Well, that screws me for just taking the hit, so... I'll try and make the jump this time. I really don't think it's going to happen, but... Eh. And no. Probably if I had used my tail there, it would work, made it, but take three. Okay, time to do it. Okay. So try and land on the spear this time, and. Stop! Ah! Oh, almost. I'll, I'll just wait and see if I can land on this time. There we go. Alright. Okay. Now, this time, fuck the trap. I'm just gonna skip over. There we go. And nice friendly skull with spinning stars. No, you are not going to kill me after I made it past that trap. No. There we go. And the exit's actually down there. Okay. So we leave the stage, yay, and move on to the next one, scene 11. Beecroft's stronghold, even though it's really just more of the ruin. Get up there. Okay. Now, this page actually makes little sense because... They have security cameras. Why do they have security cameras? They, have, they don't have electricity. Ow! That was ultimately pointless. And apparently they have holograms. Wonderful! And another security camera. And a saw blade! That has an electric motor yet is powered by two guys on a cart. Okay. Now it's actually here, you can actually outrun this and I mean, guess you get hit? But you get your guy back at the end of it anyway. So unless you didn't have your blue bastard, you could actually run right through it and not take any hits. Now this part actually, if you didn't already get the idea, there's basically there's a tall wall you have to get over. They have to carry the block so you can pogo stick off it. Now unfortunately it's tricky to get around them, but... Uh, oh, I guess you can pogo stick while you're carrying things. I didn't know that. So we'll put that there and let one of them pick it up and then we'll pogo off it and see... you never get up there other than that, so... We'll get up... Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, shit. Phew. Okay, try that again. And up and we go. There we go. And here we go, boss time. Beecroft. So this shouldn't be too hard. It's not like he has a giant stone robot that shoots lasers. 
Okay, this boss fight actually isn't that hard. Obviously, you can't pogo jump on him. You have to reflect his shots back. Then you can... Shit! You can drop the mirror, but... Shit! That hand will knock it away if you drop it in the right spot, so instead you have to reflect the shots back. It's better to take care of... Fuck. He has two types of energy blasts. One of his energy blasts is the standard blue attack. The other one is the spread shot. You can actually knock both of them back, but if you miss the spread shot, then you're going to take a hit and die. So knock him out of the way, and let's do this. That's one hit. Yeah, shit. Okay, time to get serious. Crap, this is going to be purple. Up. Whew. Shit, there goes the hand again. Okay. And shit, purple. Oh, blue, sorry. Let's get rid of him. Shit, there's the hand again. Come on, shoot at me. Come on, take your best shot. Come on. Uh, purple, shit. Ha! Got your back. Okay. Oh, that's it. Keep shooting. Right, get rid of you. Shit, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, there he goes. I guess that's that's the end of him. Yay! And we never see him again, thankfully. But the ground falls up before you actually get to go anywhere, and underground passage. It's actually a lot like the first stage, only longer, and you can actually die. So at first it seems like there's no way out of here, so we're just going to have to give it some time. I'm actually kind of getting low on time, but I think I still have time to do this stage. Okay. Here. Uh, one of these ponds, I think it's up ahead, actually, as you can fall... Yeah, there it is right there. That's actually... Bottomless. That's actually a. It's not bottomless. There's a whole. There's a crowd area down there, but it's very hard to avoid getting hit. So the the idea here is that we had to flood a chamber later on to raise a platform so we can get to the stage exit. But in the mean shit. Good thing you can't drown in this game. Um, you have to flood. A, you have to flood a platform in order to get to the stage exit. But in order to flood it, you have to pull certain releases on the water supply. In order to get at those releases, you have to go the right way and then find a special peck that... Let's blue those name by the way. It's named peck. You have to find a special peck that can break the blocks. So, find the red peck, then... Yeah, you can't kill them. Uh, find the special red peck, break the blocks, and you can kill the, kill the skeleton for the red peck too, so... Take that. Get up here. I think the path's actually up here. It's been a while since I played this stage. And not exactly memorable. Just pull these out of the way. Oh, God. oh yeah, that's right. You gotta pull them all the way out. They won't actually fall on you, so... I guess they weren't really as devious as, devious as they could have been there, but... Yeah. So we'll pull them out. Pull that one out. I could pull the last one, but why? Okay, skip him, get down there, and pull the first lever out, and that first chest contains the red pack. So that's one down, two to go, and smash stone now. Okay, your blue guy can now eat rocks. And skeletons. I think we can go this way to get to the second one. No, we can't. Shit. And it can't get out there. Okay, back we go. It's going to be a photo finish at nine minutes now, so... really going to be a close call. I think, I think there's... Uh, there's one up here somewhere. There's one up here and there's one back near the start. Oh, no, that's where I came from. Okay. Okay, get over there. This is going to be really close. I've got less than a minute left. Okay. And no, that's the, not the right way. Up here is the next one. That's right. Okay, pull that. I don't think there's one over here, but there, there are blocks over here and Oh, stars. That was really useful. Actually, it was really useful. I'll need the extra lives in the last couple stages. And we'll get down there. Last one's over this way. Now, that hole would have dropped you between those two skeletons with no way to kill them. Very hard to avoid getting hit. Okay. So that, that 
that's the water supply, so that's gonna raise the platform we need. Come on, go, 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 go. I really don't have to make this two videos, because I know the next stage is really, really going to take a lot of time. But, I'm almost at YouTube's limit. Crap. Okay. Okay, yes, we get the point. Oh, shit. Okay, good, okay. That's it for this Let's Play. Next time we'll be playing, we'll be doing the final sections, Visconti's Castle. That's where things really start to heat up. Okay, so that's it for this Let's Play. See you next time, and have a good one, folks. Put together by Dr. Wright for lightning, you're American. I eat all my mega brand. I live in duty, and it's my duty to destroy the Masterbots.